Thanks for staying tuned to The Property Show. We're looking at markets in the south now. We have Srini Vasalu Yamuna on the line with us. Hi, how can we help you? Yeah, I've decided to buy um, property in Chennai. And that is Fairyland Foundations Limited. Okay. And the name of the project is Sai Akshayam. And I just want to know how good is it to proceed? Okay, so uh, Sai Akshayam's uh, project, Fairyland Foundations, uh, near uh, in Vandalu, Chennai. Samir, good pick yeah, or not? I think this is a project that should uh, definitely be a go-ahead from our side. This project is located uh, at uh, Rathi Mangalam near Vandalur. Uh, this consists of five blocks, low-rise stories, uh, two floors only. Amenities like gym, children play area, association rooms are all there in place. The project will be ready by first quarter of 2015. The location comes under the village panchayat but not under CMDA. However, the location of the project is good and they have all the approvals. This is also a project near the Techor Medical and Engineering College, just four kilometers from Vandalur near the Gubiran Temple and VIT University campus. Uh, if you look at the key data points of this area, uh, you have eight months of inventory overhang, so very limited projects over here. Weighted average price is also 3900, whereas the weighted average price of this project is 3200. So I think there's a huge upside op opportunity also once the project starts uh, getting completed. 20% is the uh, price appreciation over here, or 7.8% on an analyzed basis. So from our side, it's, it's definitely a project uh, to hold. Uh, we've been told that you've already booked the flat one month back. Okay, so Srinivasaru, that's a good decision that you've booked a flat in Sayaksham Fairyland Foundation. Uh, it's a thumbs up to the location as well, uh, Vandalur, uh, located in southwest Chennai. The property has good connectivity, there is social infrastructure in the form of schools and a few uh, future initiatives have been planned for Vandalur, uh, which includes a bus ter terminus and a monorail project. So good to go with this project. Okay, next Mohit Sharma has a question for us. Hi Mohit, how can we help you? Hi. Hi, actually uh, I have selected a property in North Bangalore called Skyla Kithaka. So I just wanted to know this project will be good for an investment purpose as well as living purpose. My budget is around 50 lakhs and I am looking for a 2 BHK. Okay, Mohit has uh, selected a project Skylark Ithaka, 50 lakhs Bangalore. Uh, good deal or not? Yeah, we think it's a market deal. Hmm. Uh, the weighted average price of the market is at about 4,050 rupees a square foot for the mid-segment. This is coming to you at 4,183, so which is a market uh, determined price. It's a big project of 21 acres, that's what makes the project good. Being developed in two phases, getting ready by 2017, uh, located on the Kadugodi Road uh, opposite the Lake Montfort Road. It's not exactly in Whitefield, it's slightly on the outskirts. Uh, it's about five, five kilometers from the Whitefield Railway Station from Phoenix Make Maker City Mall. It's about three kilometers. So we could definitely recommend you to go ahead. 23% has been the price appreciation of this market at 9% analyzed. Inventory overhang is 19 odd months. The two recommendations from our side are there also for you to choose. Alfine Fiesta by Alfine Housing. This project is at 4,000, uh, developed over 3.5 odd acres. This project is located two kilometers from the IT parks, like the Prestige Featherlight Tech Park and the SGRI Park. Developers has received a khata also, located on main ITPL road next to SM English School is where this project is. Mahavir Amaze by Mahavir Realty Structures. This project is spread across three acres or 11 guntas and this project is approved by BDA and located six kilometers from the Berries Research Triangle IT Park, a 3.96 million square feet development. So a lot of employment generation and from an investment point of view, this could be a good return. Samir, is Whitefield uh, a kind of market in Bangalore which offers something for everybody? You have luxury, you have something in the mid-segment, uh, under construction, investment, end use. It's a great market for people across the budget spectrum. Yeah, I would agree with you there, but although I would recommend that people who are looking at pure luxury projects over there, there are not too many and it's become a mid-market. Right. So usually people don't prefer luxury mm -hmm. projects in mid-markets. Mm -hmm. But however, yes, it's become a great destination for mid-market housing. For plenty of options there. Okay, so Mohit, uh, uh, we're giving you a go-ahead for Skylark uh, Ithika in Whitefield. Two more options for you in the Whitefield market. Alpine Fiesta by Alpine Housing. And uh, the other one to look at, Mahavir Amaze by Mahavir Reddy Structures. Next on the line, Prasad Pardiwala with us. Uh, hi Prasad, uh, what's your question? Yeah, my, my question is, uh, so I have a, 
two PhD apartment in the uh, in Ahmedabad. Uh, the property name is Swagat Flamingo. So this this property is near the Info City, uh, mm-hmm. near Sargasin Crossroads. Okay. Uh, so my property is that. Uh, so my question is that I bought this property uh, in 2012. I want. Uh, 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 I want help from the expert to tell me whether I I should hold on to this property or should I sell it. I bought this property uh, with a three thousand six hundred per square feet price. Okay, all right. So Prasad uh, has uh, bought a property in for city uh, on uh, in on the Sarkej uh, Gandhi Nagar Highway, Sargas and Gandhi Nagar. Uh, is this a good project to continue to hold on to? See the price at which uh, he bought the project at is quite expensive, mm. but now it's a hold from our side because a the current resale price is 3200. You bought it at 3600, so you'll incur a loss on this property. Uh, the project is fantastic. Uh, its launch date was March 2010. It's a decent mid-sized project, comprising of 15 odd blocks. It's currently available at 3442 from the developer. Project is 3.5 kilometers from the 150 acre InfoCity. So as that city develops, the project will start also doing well. It's got a lot of educational institutions in close by. Project has all the modern amenities, daycare center, temple, health club, open air theater, swimming pool. So this makes it a very good project. Also the gift city is a major residential demand driver over the next 10, 12 years. And it's about eight, 10 kilometers away. So we would recommend you to hold on since you've already bought it at an expensive price. Wait for some appreciation to happen. Inventory overhang in this market is 23 months. The weighted average price is 3400. It's crept up by 8% on an analyzed basis. So that's what we would have to say because you bought it at a really expensive price and it's a good project. So nothing to worry about on that front. It's a ready project. Okay, so Prasad, the, the only smart option for you here is to hold on to this property for a bit longer. Uh, the resale prices right now is at 3200 You bought at 3600 so you'll be at a loss if you go out in the market to sell this. So continue to hold on to Swagat Flamingo by Swagat Infrastructure. Also, as Samir said, uh, this property is about uh, is proximate to the gift city, the Gujarat International Financial uh, Finance Tech City that uh, the Gujarat State Government is developing. This is called the first smart city of India and uh, that's going to bring in a lot of commerce and a lot of uh, employment in this region and also improve livability with those big pro- uh, ticket projects coming up. So hold on to this property for now. Okay, a quick reminder to all our viewers from the industry about the NDTV Property Awards 2014, which will be presented by Paddy Ware and powered by Johnson Tiles. You need to log on to ndtv.com slash property awards or write to us at propertyawards at ndtv.com. And that will be a wrap for today. Keep writing to us with your feedback and questions to property at ndtv.com. Don't miss our radio show every Saturday at 2 p.m. on Radio City and keep up with the latest by following us on Twitter and Facebook. Samir and I will take your leave for today. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.